Hello there, my name is Colin Freeman and I'm a retired police officer, spent some 25 plus years as a member of Essex Police. Much of my service in the Epping Forest District, uh, including 10 years as the village policeman covering Morton, Bobbinworth and the Lavers. And I'm passionate about the countryside, I'm passionate about the whole area of Epping Forest and especially passionate about litter. So having retired in 1993, I came back again a few years ago and took on a role as the Essex Watch Liaison Officer for uh, Epping Forest District. Now, because I'm getting older and apparently can perform all sorts of miracles, I now cover Epping Forest, Brentwood and Harlow. So I never have time to be bored. But I'm very, very passionate about community. Community cohesion is at the top of my list every day of the week. And things wind me up like they do many people within the community. One particular thing that winds me up is litter. So today I'm going to talk a little bit, in fact, as some of my friends would say, he's talking a load of rubbish again. And um, I'm pleased to do this because I am, as I said, very passionate about the subject, about the way that people seem to think it's okay to blight our countryside and our urban areas with waste, whether it be fast food waste, cigarette butts, chewing gum, fly tipping the lot, antisocial, antisocial behaviour and antisocial for the environment. It's something that we all need to stop and think about. I was brought up in London and I was brought up as a child to, if I got a sweet wrapper or paper or any rubbish, you screw it up as much as possible, put it in your pocket until you find a bin. Hence the saying, find a bin to put it in. And I want to encourage more and more people to do that so that our environment is not affected by the blatant disregard of many people who seem to think it's okay to drop their fast food litter. Their cigarette butts often not extinguished. Chewing gum. As a child I can remember going to the cinema one day as a treat with a brand new pair of trousers on and some inconsiderate person had decided to leave their chewing gum on the seat. And um, didn't do my new trousers a lot of good at all. So all of those sort of things, I think we need to stop and we need to think about our behaviour, about the way we treat the environment and the way we look out for each other. I'm going to give you a quick example here, talking of cigarette butts. It's estimated, according to the statistics I get here, that 122 tonnes of cigarette butts, matchsticks and cigarette related litter is dropped every day across the UK. Now a cigarette butt can take anything up to 12 years to gradually degrade and no longer become a problem. So that's a long time for a cigarette butt. And according to the Home Office, 40% of outdoor fires are caused by litter and refuse. And I've seen that on many, many occasions. Hectares of forest land, Epping Forest close to us has been destroyed in, in part several times over the years because of people irresponsibly discarding cigarette butts out of the window. It's not acceptable. It's antisocial and dangerous. And that's the sort of thing I want people to stop and think about. Let's keep our environment and our community clean and litter free. That's my message. And on the 2nd of June I am launching a campaign across Epping Forest District and the other districts that I cover basically to try and educate people or remind people not to rubbish Essex because it is so so important. We don't want our children growing up surrounded by heaps of rubbish. We don't want to encourage 
rodents by leaving food about, discarding food and therefore fe feeding them, encouraging more and more rodents to come and blight our lives in other ways. We need to stop and think. And do you know, another, another fact that I've got here, if every smoker dropped just one cigarette end a week in the UK, we would be knee deep in 624 million cigarette ends within a year. That's frightening. And that's just cigarette ends. And one thing that I uh, learned many, many years ago, there was a campaign by the then Forestry Commission they could trying to educate people who uh, were dropping cigarette ends, matches and so on and so forth on their forest land. And it's simply this. One tree can make a million matches. One match can destroy a million trees. Think about it. If you want to know any more, I'm on Epi Market on the 9th of June where I'll be having an information stall at the charity stand which is adjacent to Barclays Bank and luckily right near Costa Coffee. Thank you very much indeed for listening. I hope that next time you wonder what to do with the litter, you'll find a bin to put it in or wrap it up and take it home.